Welcome to Velingrad, which means I'm back in Bulgaria, great country Bulgaria. The Republic of Bulgaria is located in Eastern Europe. To the north is the border with Romania and to the south the borders with Turkey and Greece. To the west lies Serbia and Macedonia and to the east the Black Sea. Welcome to another John Rorton Presents, this time about the municipality of Belingrad. And from what I've seen from this train, it looks fantastic, so I can't wait to see more of it. Follow me on this journey. Got my bag, got everything I need. The municipality of Belingrad lies in the western part of the Rodopi Mountains, among the most picturesque highlands of the Chapinska Valley. It is recognized as the spa capital of the Balkans, popular for its fresh air, mineral springs and modern hotels. Visitors from all over the world come here for treatment or to simply take a vacation from their busy lives. Belingrad municipality is 700 to 850 meters above sea level, covering an area of 818 square kilometers with a population of around 44,000. The city is located 93 kilometers from Sofia and 81 kilometers from Plovdiv. The area was inhabited by the Thracians in the 5th to 6th century BC and became part of the Roman Empire in the 1st century. According to the legend, Spartacus, who led the slave revolt against ancient Rome, came from this area. The Slavs settled here in the 6th century, followed later by the early Bulgarians. The Chapinska Valley was integrated into the Bulgarian state in the 9th century. The fortress Sepina was built here in the 13th century, belonging to the Bulgarian tyrant Slav and his wife, the Spanish Princess Margaret Isabel. The fortified wall surrounded 25 decas, including several churches, outbuildings, a castle and a self-supporting survival tower known as Donjon. This is the of Despot Slav, with his huge Donjon. Има една интересна легенда. Турците обсаждат 9 месеца крепостта. В последния момент, преди да се отчаят и да се оттеглят, едно момче е хванато навън и тогава неговата баба ги посъветва как да открият водопровода на крепостта. Те нахранват едно муле с сол и го пускат. То успява да открие водопровода, прекъсват водопровода и крепостта пада. At the foot of the fortress is a small exhibition here of artifacts that they have found in the fortress. It's really interesting. I love it here, it's great. Continuing the history of Belingrad, in 14th century, Bulgaria fell under Ottoman rule for five centuries. The locals were terrorized and forced to take the Muslim religion. We'll learn more in the St. Trinity Church. Тук е намерена една хроника и тази хроника в момента се намира в Лондонския музей на изкуствата. Това е било требник, книга за, за службите. И в този требник между редовете един свещеник, който е служил тук, Методи Драгинов, описва как българите от Чепинско са били похомаеданчени през 1656-1661 година. Свещениците, кметове си ги събрали, искали да ги, ги избият но се смилили, са казали, ако приемете нашата вяра. Да вика, много хора загинаха, бяха посечени, други избягаха, трети приеха новата вяра. И така било насилство на мрачни години. Всички църкви и манастири от Станимъка до Костенец, пише в тази хроника, 33 манастири и 218 църкви били разрушени и изгорени. Тук също всичко било разрушено. И от този период, 1666 до 1816, не е имало храмов. Това е първият храм, който е построен и все още действа от тези години, дай Боже, по Божията воля. In 1823, a monastery school was established in the St. Trinity Church. The school became secular with the liberation of Bulgaria in 1878. Velingrad comprised originally of three villages, Chepino, Kamenica and Luchdene. Timber and softwood production were the means of livelihood. Balneotherapy treatment began to develop. A mineral beach, the second biggest in Europe, was completed in Luchdene in 1937. 
members of the local parliament had argued whether to spend money on the beach or pave the streets. Villagers asked, does the pavement attract more people than the beach? Or could you lay a new pavement with profits from the beach? So, they voted for the beach. Today, this is one of the most favoured recreational places in Velingrad. This is what I would call a communal pool. The waters are varying degrees. This one here is 32 degrees. The one behind is 24 degrees. How many people come every day, do you think? No. Who are the most people that come here? English, German? Let's leave the people to enjoy the sun and conclude our history lesson. Belingrad was founded on the 28th of January 1948 after the unification of the villages Cepino, Kamenica and Luchtene. It was named after the partisan Vela Pieva, who was born in Kamenica. The city became the administrative center of the municipality in 1977. In 2008, it received the Spa Capital of the Balkans Award by the World's Hotel and Restaurant Orders Organization. Is Valingrad your hometown? No, we're just visitors. Me and my girlfriend. Why are you why are you coming here to visit? Any re, any reason? Maybe because of the mineral springs. Yeah. Velingrad today is a veritable collage of music, colors and emotions. The annual cultural festivals are taking place right now. Ten days of concerts, exhibitions and shows with participants from all over the world. This open-air art exhibition is part of the Cultural Festival of Felingrad. The pictures are placed directly onto the water. This part of Felingrad is where it gets really, really special. Behind me is a Kleptutsa. Over there is a second lake and these form the symbols of Felingrad. And it pumps out 1200 litres of cold water per second, which makes it the biggest cast spring in Bulgaria. Very nice, very peaceful, very quiet, some nice music in the background. We're having a good time. Come down here next time. We return to the centre of Velingrad, where the International Folklore Festival is being held. If you have the chance to come here next year, it's great and certainly not to be missed. It's an evening of traditional folk music and dancing here in Velingrad. Typical Bulgarian at the moment, and behind me, some people from Greece. Who knows what's going to happen tonight? Could be very good, could be interesting for everybody, and especially for me. So what makes Velingrad so special? And why have the other Balkan countries chosen to give it the award as best spa resort? The answer is this. Here, hundreds of mineral springs release their energy. Each has a different temperature and chemical content and is reputed to cure a wide range of diseases, skin, heart, gynecological and other bodily functions. During a single stay in Velingrad, you can undergo treatment for your rheumatism with hot baths, drink mineral water for your kidney problems and say goodbye to your neurosis, thanks to various spa programs. Let's see what spa procedures are on offer in one of the numerous hotels in Velingrad. This is the Cleopatra room. Milk and honey. This one here is massage for chocolate. It's a chocolate massage. This is the fitness room full of everything that you need to keep fit. And down here or Turkish baths, steam baths, very, very hot. I'm not going to go in there because I went in before and I came out sweating. Располагаме с прекрасно оборудване физиотерапия, солариуми, подводни масажи, кални апликации. What what are those? What is what is he using? Това са орехи от боабаб. А самата терапия се нарича африкански шепот, която е антистресова 
за цялото тяло. Има пилинг, маска, масаж. Looks very relaxing to me. I might even just do this in a few minutes. Това, което показвам в момента е кралски бамбук. С него се прави терапия на цялото тяло, която носи наименованието бамбукови мечти. Втората терапия е антицелулитна терапия за дами, която се прави с штраусови яйца от палисандрово дърво, mm-hmm. терапия ИН и терапия ЯН. С тези сфери се прави хармониращ енергията и енергиен масаж на тялото. Белинград не е само луксури спази, но и има минерал пули и баси за генералната публика, които може да се използват за малка чарга. Едно от тях е този роман бас. Това е фантастично място, не си? Грандът силен! Грандът акустик. Това е един от минерал спринг бас хаузи. Те имаха ладис дей и те имаха мен's дей. Това е мен's дей, така че сме възможности. Tomorrow is Ladies' Day, no chance. But this, dating back to 1918, it cures pancreatic problems, gynecological problems, problems of the stomach, all that kind of thing, this area. This is what this is for. Absolutely great. The mineral water from dozens of fountains and springs in Veningrad can be used free of charge. One of them is a sulfur spring. Now you may ask yourself, What is he doing with a pan in his hand? Okay, this is not rock and roll, but it doesn't matter. In there we have two eggs. This is a hot sulfur spring. Now this water is 97 degrees hot. It boils an egg in two minutes. It'll boil my feet in 30 seconds if I don't get over there. So I'm going to look really stupid. <laughs> For one minute, I'm going to tip too. No, I'm not. I'm going to try and get over here. 97 degrees. Но това си не е Божи дар на Велинград. Стоян е 74 years old. He's actually 200 years old, but he's been using the water, so it makes him a lot younger. And the best thing about this is that this hot water is channeled into the church and to two local schools. It heats the local schools and the church. And now we're going to boil the egg. Should be about two minutes. <laughs> Bulgaria test to see if the egg is done. It spins. If it's not done, it doesn't spin. So, et voila. The egg has suddenly become the star of the series. Say hello, egg. Hello, egg. See, perfect egg. This spring is being used by an American family. Mariana is Bulgarian. This is Mariana yes. on Dan. A hotel в който сме оценили тук е всичко е минерална топла вода, дори душа. This is first time for you in this area. Yeah, this is my first time in Valingrad, yeah. How do you how does it grab you? What does it feel like? It's actually impressive here yeah, like these hotels and these uh, really high class spas are around. Искам да живея тук, търся къща. They want to live here. Oh, well, why, why not? So now I understand why Belingrad is called the spa capital of the Balkans. Where else can you find so many mineral springs, spa facilities and professional services? As well as all this, Belingrad has two more advantages. Clean, fresh air and incredible scenery. Belingrad is a favorite holiday destination, not only for families with children and people seeking treatment, But for biker clubs like these guys, for example, not only can they undergo treatment for their older traumas, they ride their motorcycles on the picturesque roads and party till the early hours, drinking beer and eating the local delicacies. It's a pity you can't taste these specialities, but hey, it doesn't matter, because I will try them for you. This is a narrow gauge line from September to Dobrinista, where the train passes through some of the most picturesque parts of Bulgaria. I got a train to catch, a train to catch. Ooh, yeah. The 
line opened in late 1926 and takes around five hours to travel the 125 kilometers. The views are so breathtaking that many tourists use the line just to take in the beautiful scenery. One of the stops on the narrow gauge line is Avramovo, the highest railway station in the Balkans, 1,267 meters above sea level. Very privileged to be up front with my, with my friend the driver Blaf. Yeah. Every time this red light comes on. Свет кенето на тази лампа в локомотива има инсталирано устройство за бдително. Това го заспим. Ели ни стане лошо. След 30 секунди, ако не се натисне самата бутона, за да се спре да свети, се задейства влаковата спирачка автоматично и влака спира варин. We continue our journey with a visit to the History Museum and experience the art of carpet washing in mountain spring water. Talking of carpets, we'll call in at the local workshop where carpets are made for the British royal family and for some of the castle scenes in Harry Potter films. We'll also visit a craft exhibition and the tourist information center. I'm in the History Museum here in Belingrad. Again, with my good friend George. George, thank you for coming again. Okay. And this is uh, a great place to come and look, to come and visit, and see all the traditional things, the history, the great costumes. Намираме се в етнографската експозиция, която представя планината с нейните дарове. Тези дарове на планината са привлекли населението от най-дълбока древност. Тази част от родопите, северо-западните родопи, е богата изключително много на гори, с безкрайните пасища, които са давали богато препитание на хората тук и с, разбира се, водите. In the History Museum we are shown the technique of Easter egg decoration using a pen and hot wax. Много малка рисувам. Гледала съм моята майка как е писала и аз от нея съм се научила. How many eggs do you think you have painted? Ами на година около 300-400 яйца. It's very it's very fine, very intricate work. I don't know how they do it. My hands are too shaky. Really spectacular. Painted eggs. This part of Belingrad fascinating. This is a washing machine. This is man-made. Great. The carpets are cleaned over there electronically with shampoo. Then they are placed into this to rinse. And as you can see, the water is mountain water, pure mineral water. And this is used to take them out. Oh. Now I'm not going to take one out because they're heavy and full of water. But they are taken out and placed on here to dry. It's the best washing machine you'll ever get. I think fresh water, it's wonderful. In the mountain village of Kostandovo, we visit a workshop that produces handmade woolen carpets. Some of them enhance the castles of the English royal family. Others were made especially for the homes of the former British Prime Minister, the granddaughter of Churchill, and Queen Beatrix of the Netherlands. This carpet can be seen in the Harry Potter series as part of the decoration of the Great Hall. This in Belingrad is Himos, family run carpet making business. Nadia, please tell me more about this. Основана е през 1997 година, наследник е на така една доста голяма държавна фирма, която за съжаление по време на прехода загуби пазарите си на световно ниво. Точно в този момент се появи нашия партньор от Великобритания, Дейвид Банфорд. Стигнахме до ниша, в която почти нямаме конкуренция на световно ниво и се бордеем, че това нещо идва от Велинград и от България въобще. Can we go see the Camilla carpet now? Please? Хайде! Хайде, хайде! Камила carpet! So these are the carpets for Camilla, the wife of Prince Charles. Тя каза какъв дизайн да е и съответно променихме цветовите гами по нейните изисквания. Това 
center of Leningrad here and street down here is an arts and crafts exhibition. We are from Shipka. I am a designer and my husband is a robot. Good stuff. Everybody down here, buy something. <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit more about this? This is a absolutely material. This is This is all handmade. Are these patterns this from this area of Bulgaria or are they just random patterns that he's picking? This is a you may remember this gentleman from Smolyan. He made some stuff for the Queen. Business is good. Everybody seems to be saying business is good, so I'm happy. He's happy. It's great. Wonderful. Merci. In Velingrad, everyone can direct you to the information center. Let's go and see what services it has to offer. Hello. Бизнес център е общинска структура. Услужваме всички туристи, които идват в града, като даваме пълна информация за хотелите, за всичките атракции, които могат да използват по време на престоя си в Белинград. Имаме конферентна зала, която се използва за обучение, за презентации. Имаме компютърна зала, в която провеждаме обучения. It's here for you. It's you can use it. Tony. Merci. Thank you. In the next part of our film, we bring you the story of Vlado Chernozemski, the man who assassinated the King of Serbia and saved hundreds of thousands of Bulgarian citizens and Yugoslav and Croats from repression. You will also see and hear the world famous bass Nikolai Gurov, together with the unforgettable Luciano Pavarotti. And we'll meet the mayor of Velingrad, who is an Olympic champion at cross-country skiing, certainly not to be missed. Born in 1897 in the village of Kamenica, Vlado Chernozemski grew up to be a fighter for freedom and the human rights of Bulgarians in Yugoslavia. In 1921, the king of the Serbs, Croats and Slovenians in Yugoslavia, Alexander Karajordovic, decided to close Bulgarian schools and replace the Cyrillic alphabet with the Latin one. He established a policy of terror in his kingdom. In order to stop this, the internal Macedonian odrian revolutionary organization assigned Vlado Chernozemski the task of organizing an assault against the Serbian king. On the 9th of October 1934, during a visit to Marseille in France, King Alexander was guarded by 1,500 policemen and agents scattered throughout the crowd, in addition to the 100 cavalrymen escorting the royal car. Despite all the obstacles, Chernozemski succeeded in getting to King Alexander's car and assassinating him. Chernozemski was wounded and later died. To this day, he is considered a hero and saviour to the Bulgarians and Macedonians. Standing in the center of Velingrad is the monument to one of the most famous opera singers in the world, bass Nikolai Gurov. Born in Kamenica, now a suburb of Velingrad, Gurov sang in all the world-renowned opera houses, the Bolshoi Theatre in Moscow, in Vienna, the Paris State Opera and many, many more. This archive recording is from La Scala in Milan. Here the young Gurov duets together with probably one of the most famous tenors in the world, Luciano Pavarotti. A meeting with the mayor, Ivan Labanov, was arranged in Yundula, just outside of Velingrad. Mr. Labanov became Bulgaria's first Winter Olympic champion, winning a bronze medal in the 30km cross-country skiing event at the 1980 Winter Olympics held in Lake Placid in the USA. You are mayor now for three years. Do you enjoy being the mayor of such a wonderful area? This is a great и да подобрим благосъстоянието на хората и да го наложим като основен туристически център както в България, на Балканите, а така и в Европа. You are Olympic champion, ski champion. 
Has it helped you? Състезавал съм се много пъти по тези поляни и писти на Юндула. Залагам на спорта и на спортния туризъм в Велинград. Спорта действително ми е помогнал, защото дисциплината, която съм практикувал, изисква много воля, много търпение, много работа. Could you tell me a little bit more if you have any plans to in the coming year for Велинград, what your plans are? В Велинград постигнахме една голяма победа. А, заедно с Общинския съвет и с гражданите на Велинград не разрешихме това наречено високо строителство и плътност на застрояване, което е видно очевадно по Черноморието и големите планински курорти. Основният проблем, който е, това е да подобрим инфраструктурата в града, канализация, водопроводи, асфалтиране, осветлението в града, полагаме сериозни грижи, но има какво да се желая. Can we go to your office and continue this conversation? I think people would like to see also your office. Is this possible? Разбира се, с удоволствие. Moving from the uh, tranquility and surroundings of Yundala, we are coming now to the tranquil surroundings of Mr. Labanov's office. Do you think that the European Union could offer uh, Bulgaria as a whole more finance for, for projects? We много разчитаме българските общини, България на тези европейски пари. В началото а, срещахме трудности с изработването на качествени проекти, но постепенно стигнахме едно добро ниво и освояваме средства. Ето сега ние реализираме един проект а, за 8 милиона лева, 4 милиона евро за озеленяването, подобряването на градската среда в Велинград. Това са 108 декара паркове, които ще бъдат облагородени. Мисля Лабонов, благодаря ви много за вашето време. Благодаря. Благодаря ви много. Looking for the best panoramic view, we climbed to an area called The Wall, near the town of Sarnitsa. It took a little time, but we got there via a picturesque footpath. This is the only way to travel, first class. And as you can see, yeah. falling trees are stopping our path, but the guys are cutting away, and Plamen, second cameraman, on the top, risking his life. <laughs> As you can see, this is what, what we do in John Lord Presents. We go through the woods and cut down trees to get you the film. Oh yes! This behind me is a Dospat man-made lake. It's about 19 kilometers long, at its widest point about one kilometer, and covers an area of about 22 square kilometers. Over my right shoulder down there is Selnitsa, and we're about 1600 meters above sea level here, and it was well worth the trip. But you can walk up here if you're fit, and I couldn't think of a better place to finish our journey around Velingrad. The municipality has been wonderful, the people are great, the area is just beautiful. As you can see behind me here, it's forest after forest, and great scenery. As you know, we have been around many places in Bulgaria bringing it to you, and I think you'll agree with me that this ranks definitely up there with the monks of top 10. Until we meet again, as I always say, rock on. You lived your life with passing time And I can read between the lines If you feel alone in the darkness of the night Just let me be your guide in light When the lights go down I will be around and let it shine, shine